You want to support Roller March Unfiltered? Be sure to join our Bring the Funk fan club. Every dollar that you give to us supports our daily digital show. There's only one daily digital show out here that keeps it black and keep it real as Roller Martin Unfiltered. Support the Roller Martin Unfiltered daily digital show by going to RollerMartinUnfiltered.com. You can make this possible. Y'all know what time it is. I ain't been, I ain't been, I been on a while. I'm white. I got you, huh? Selling water with our on my property. Whoa! Hey! Hey! Oh, we don't live here. I'm uncomfortable. Oh, y'all, this is our final story. A Lexington, Kentucky pizza hut worker actually told a customer she spit in her food. Ooh. Sheree Bledsoe said she and her roommates ordered online from Pizza Hut and unknowingly left a nine cent tip for the delivery driver. Sheree, who is black, said the employee was enraged at the tip and began calling them while shouting racial slurs. They also sent these text messages. Was that good food? Best believe it was spit in. Mm. Everyone knows what to do when that address and number come up. You fuck with the wrong food place, niggas. You're the type that should be hung. Come here and kiss my feet. It will get spit in every single time. Don't forget your phone number and address is saved. Fucking dumbass. Hmm. Well, Pizza Hut, of course, apologized. And Pizza Hut Becky's job is now open. <laughs> <laughs> Lord I'm sure her. it is. That's crazy. I, I, Becky's I, not I, very bright, is she? But I can't, no, Becky ain't bright. But I keep telling everybody, <laughs> I appreciate white folks showing, the crazy white people, showing who they are. And I'm telling you, in Lexington, Kentucky, y'all should be 50 black people going to that Pizza Hut applying for Becky job. There's some black folks in Lexington, well, you, too. You, you know There's what a I, lot of I black folks say, there. Instead of applying for Becky's job, how about 50 black folks pull some money, buy some ovens and some pizza sauce and yeah. some yeast, and start slinging pizzas right next door to it I'm and fine put with, out of business. I'm fine with Great. that. <laughs> I, we can do both. I'm saying, every time one of these crazy white people lose their mind and lose their job, I'm telling you, I need another 1.9 million white folks to keep losing their mind. They could end black unemployment <laughs> all by themselves. That's all I'm saying. All right, folks, back to our Roller Martin Unfiltered video in just one moment. All right, y'all, as the marijuana momentum continues, the folks at 420 at MarijuanaStock.org have already reached more than half of their funding goal for the hemp CBD crowdfunding campaign. That's right. If you want, if you want to take advantage, you better do so real quick because it's not going to last much longer. I'm talking about the hemp plant, the good cousin of marijuana, with a much higher concentration of CBD. That means hemp gives you all the medical benefits of marijuana without getting you high. Robert says thank you very much. Also, hemp farming is now legal in the U.S., creating one of the largest commodities worldwide. It's an investment opportunity for you. And the folks at 420 Real Estate, this is what their business model is. They buy land that supports hemp CBD grow operations and lease it to licensed high-paying tenants. They are hemp CBD landlords. If you want to participate, you can do so for as little as 200 bucks up to $10,000. Again, 200 bucks up to $10,000. All you got to do is go to marijuanastock.org. That's marijuanastock.org. You can get in the game and get in the game now. Now back to your Roland Martin Unfiltered video. 